it's been a hell of a minute since I picked up the vlogging camera but anyways nonetheless for today's video welcome back guys hope you guys didn't miss me too long it's been a minute since I picked up the camera um, on the way to go turn on the RSX on the way to put her back together because we are taking her for a drive the car we, I finally found a shop I finally found somebody that's willing to paint the car I don't have no idea why it's been a mission to get this car painted I don't get it people don't want to work People don't want to do the job. I've had job, you know, shops telling me no. I had shops cancel me. I had shops telling me yeah, 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 and then they don't pick up the phone. It's been mind boggled that people don't want to work, and they don't want to paint a car. I, I, I don't know. You know, I hope people don't think another stimulus check is coming, or, or if there is, like, come on, man, like it's it's ridiculous that <clears throat> I'm going on like two months, and I haven't found a single person that wants to paint the car. But I finally did. Um, hopefully he comes through it's rider customs over on instagram rider customs with the with the k i believe with the with the k i'll make uh, if i if i find it i not if i find it i'll go to my instagram and i'll put it on the description below anyways nonetheless he said that mid may so we got a good two two weeks before we take the car over there seeing his work looks very good extremely happy that they're going to paint it uh, i this is crazy to me i've never this has never been an issue to get a car painted and it's becoming an issue that shops are telling me no yes come through then they don't pick up the phone it's been crazy but anyways we're gonna go put her back we're gonna take her for a drive give her a nice little car wash grab a little video for you guys because i haven't picked up the vlogging camera in a while i've been working my behind off i've been on like 12 hour shifts like every day for like the past two weeks it's been insane but anyways let's do that today come along let's see what troubles we could get into um, and I definitely want to drive her, man. It's been like a month and a half since I've driven her, and I'm excited to drive her again. I can't wait. I haven't even, I haven't even been able to enjoy the seats that I did over from uh, Rivero Customs because, like, everything just happened, and I haven't driven the car. So, anyways, let's continue and let's get the video started. So I think I haven't given her a car wash. It's been like two months since I've given her a car wash. Probably a little bit longer, just because like I had it sitting and I wasn't washing it or whatever. So it feels good to get all that dirt and grime. Um, I'm excited, man. So in about two weeks, I'm dropping the car off. I'm doing just a regular paint job and then just doing, reg once I get it back, then I gotta tackle a bunch of things. Like look what happened here to the uh, tint. Uh, something on the inside when I was switching the or when I was gluing the glass, it messed up the tin, and these are pretty much brand new tint. So I gotta call the guy. I actually did call the guy. It's gonna be like around 20 bucks just to replace it or whatever, because it does have warranty. But at some point, I'm gonna have to end up switching this glass, meaning I have to buy another OEM glass, because one of the big defects that these cars have is that the glue comes off on the door here, and that glass just falls. Like if it ever comes off and you're lifting up the glass, that thing is gonna look like a Lambo like a Lambo door it's just gonna go up I was on the I'm, I was in traffic and I was lifting it up and I you know I'm lifting up the window I'm looking forward when I look through the side of my eye I see the glass just go all the way up and I'm like holy shit I grabbed it so yeah that's something that uh, it's like a defect that they bring um yeah so I just pulled up to Kuruma and the inventory is still great like always we're gonna be filming one of those today look at this amazing inventory a great type R here got another one over there so I'm gonna start doing that videos for the Monday review series look at that super George is that super new this turbo it's turbo right this is not turbo not turbo got some great wheels on it nice body kit what what kit is that do you know what kit is it Everything you see here is obviously for sale. We will cover that in all the videos done here. And yep, I'll leave a link like always, Kuruma Imports. Hit them up, leave a phone number and everything. That great Supra, that top secret Supra is still for sale, amazing.
here at Kuruma still. We just finished recording this one. Super nice. 1996 DC2. All the details on this car will be on the Monday Review Series video. Either this one might come out first or the other one might come out first. Got a DC5 over there. Nice, great Supras. Alright guys, so it's actually been a couple of days since the last video, since uh, I was recording the this actual video, and I wanted to wrap it up um, just because I actually got around to installing the Japanese tag that Japanese plate sent me over. I appreciate you guys. I'll leave a link in the description below where you guys can find them and you can get your customized plate. I got two of them. This is the second one I got that said DC5 and with the numbers and the Japanese letters on the side. So we're going to go ahead and install that now. Um, the car should be going to paint in about two weeks or so. I don't have my camera with me, so I am using my phone. The car should be going to paint in around two weeks or so. So we should be able to see a fresh, brand new color. Not color change, but brand new color. I am keeping the original color. Much shout out to Rider Customs for hooking your boy up and, you know, riding back to me and spending the time and actually giving me the time to speak and talk about the paint and all that stuff. Anyway, so we're actually done with the car already. I'm gonna go ahead and put the car back on. I'm gonna put away the towel. I gave it like a little cleaning or whatever, but nonetheless, it's going to paint like in two weeks. So we are good to go. Let me show you guys the tag. What do you guys think of the tag? Do you guys like it? Um, I definitely will get a spoon one uh, or maybe a June one. This is just for now, just to give it a little bit of changes here and there. I honestly think, in my opinion, that that yellow kind of pops, makes it look real nice. I mean, once in a while, the cars go through stages, build stages, and you know little things here and there get added or whatnot that's just to switch it around anyways let me show you guys an up close so if you do order your tags from japanese tags um and i have to do something about this because you guys see this is loose the way that you're supposed to install this from the factory is you're supposed to drill into the bumper and it's supposed to go attached to the bumper once it's drilled like it's supposed to like just stay there flush i'm not doing that i'm not drilling into this bumper so i might have to do like some sort of like double stick tape or something like that nonetheless when you do order your Japanese tag from Japanese plate, they give you the adapter. As you guys can see there, this screw goes onto the base plate. This one goes onto your tag because as you can see, the USDM plate holder, it's smaller than the actual Japanese tag. And you guys can see the difference here. But if you get the adapter, that's how it looks. And I think it's pretty fresh. Tell me what you guys think. If you guys like it. I also have a, another one in the back um, in the trunk, which is a regular... Japanese white one I'll rock it every once in a while maybe if I take it to a show after the car is actually painted and that lip and everything else is fixing the car it's going working good to go then I'll definitely take it to a show I appreciate each and every single one of you thank you for subscribing to the channel we are 6,000 deep we are 6,000 soldiers deep I appreciate each and every one of you for subscribing to the channel I love you guys thank you for the support remember to hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel thank you guys thank you again Thank you again. I cannot say it enough for the support. I'll see you guys on the next one.